Hey, creative friends. Hey, I've got a fun project today. I'm working with leather for the first time on my CO2 laser. And so uh, the rest of the video will show you how I uh, cut this out and engraved on it and colored it and stitched it to this knit hat. And I think it came out great. So um, stick around and watch the video. And if you're new around here, I would just love it if you hit subscribe. I've gotten up to 600 subscribers this week, and I thank you guys so much. But um, if you're new, then please hit subscribe. I love to try to encourage and inspire and maybe even instruct um, different tools that I love to use. So different kinds of lasers and Cricut tools and anything that you see that you're interested in on my channel. I just would love it if you go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks so much. Hey creative friends. Well, I just wanted to share a project with you today. This is the very first time I have tried leather in the uh, CO2 laser, um, the laser box rotary. And so I have a small piece of vegetable tanned leather. It's two to three ounce vegetable tanned leather and it is fully wet. Um, I, on the front and back I got it fully wet and so I'm going to try to make a patch for a hat and so I have just designed um, just a name with, with a little flourish and um, rectangle to cut out with lots of little tiny circles and I'm just going to see what happens here so on this laser box uh, I don't know if you can see it but there's purple lines that will do the cut for you and then the orange um, so purple does the cut. I don't know if you can see these all holes all the way around. And then the orange does the engrave. And so I am just playing around with the settings. So for now, uh, let's see, I have, I have got uh, power of 90, speed of 20, um, two passes for the cut. And then I'm just going to try 50-50 for the engrave, 50%. 50 millimeters per second. And again, this is just my first try, just a shot in the dark. We'll see how it goes. All right, so it's doing the engraving first, thankfully. And um, there's a little bit of overburn on the leather, but that's to be expected. Some of that will wash off. And then of course you can also do some light masking tape on the leather to keep the soot down but um, but we'll take a look at whenever this is finished and all cleaned up So it doesn't look like my image transferred very well because some of those dots um, don't look like they're full circles. So I'm not sure if the two passes cut. Actually, this square did cut just fine. I'm not sure if these circles are going to cut. So that was two passes. Um, yeah, and these circles did not cut. So, and again, a lot of that soot is just going to wipe right off. So I may just come back with a leather tool to finish, finish up these circles because those did not cut at all. So all in all though, pretty, pretty cool for a first pass. I'm very pleased. Seven and a half minutes to engrave and then cut again, uh, two to three ounce vegetable tanned leather. It's still just a little damp, but it's starting to dry. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, just real quick, I wanted to show you, I did just wash it off, and so a lot of that soot came off, so I'm really pleased with that. 
But I do need to come back and work on these holes. Uh, again, I think it tried to engrave them instead of cut them. So I may I may try to set up just a um, a jig and see if I can come in and um, work on those holes. But but all in all, I'm I'm very pleased. I think the engraving did uh, did quite nice. not have had to go to this trouble if I had made sure at the beginning that the engrave and the cut were correct uh, the, with the purple and the orange and the software but uh, just to show you I've got a jig set up and so I just uh, did these practice holes on the cardboard I've laid my piece of uh, outer leather um, perfectly around the holes um, use a little bit of magnets there to hold down the cardboard but now all I'm going to do is just slip this piece back in here and, and hopefully, um, you know, just tell it to do the same, same shape with all these little holes, but tell it to do it on the leather settings, uh, which will hopefully cut all these holes out for me. Okay, so now I've got it on my own leather setting there. That's one that I put into the system, the software. And you'll notice this time it is in purple. Um, and so that way that means cut. Orange is engraved and the purple is cut. And if we highlight over that, you'll notice I have it set to 90, 90 power, 16 millimeters per second, uh, two passes. So we're gonna give that a go and see what happens. All right, so that didn't take long. I'm not sure if those cut all the way through, so I may try that one more time. But it did do two passes, but these are just such tiny, tiny little holes in my, my image was not great to begin. Oh, well, actually, yeah, those look pretty good. <laughs> Perfect. So now I've got the patch. I'll clean this off again, but now I've got the patch and I can punch out all these little lingering pieces of leather <laughs> and just like burn them away. All right, very cool. So I decided to go ahead and add some color to this leather. And, of course, there's all kinds of leather dyes um, that you can get. But I've had great success with just this watercolor that I have. Um, Echo Line watercolors. And they come in many different colors. I just have a few of them. But I've used this blue before. And you can get it as dark as you want by doing a real thin layers. Um, and so I'm just going to, uh, I've put like three layers. And I'm going to let this dry. And then once that dries fully, then you can come in and protect the leather. Um, there's definitely all kinds of different things to finish off the leather. This will give it kind of a shine and help protect it, make it water resistant. And then I've got an old bottle that came with some furniture um, that works great to just uh, uh, helping the leather to, to feel supple again. And it just makes it a really nice finish to the leather. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to let this sit just a little bit longer, make sure it's fully dry, cleaned up the holes a little bit. And they came out uh, super nice. So as I continue to do experiments, I will try to get those hole holes even smaller. Um, but it's a lot of fun uh, making different kinds of patches. And now I'm just going to sew it to a hat um, with some of this waxed uh, thread. So I'll show you the final product. Okay, so I got it all stitched up. Just wanted to show you some final pictures. Um, I think it turned out real nicely. I'm, I'm glad I went with the uh, a blue shade to that leather. I think it looks good on the gray hat. Well, thanks so much for watching.